Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd and today I'm gonna demo a Stag S250 guitar. And as you can tell, it is a Strat copy and this is, well, as cheap as you can go when you're buying an electric guitar. So I'm just trying to find out if it's, yeah, if it's really a playable, uh, usable instrument. Uh, Stag guitars, uh, the company is based in Belgium, but the guitars are made in the Far East. Um, I assume uh, that's not information I could find, but if you look at the guitar, I would say it's made in China. <laughs> based on my previous uh, reviews and my knowledge of other guitars. Um, yeah. It has a maple neck, rosewood fingerboard, and yeah, as I said, it is a Stratocaster. Uh, same simple construction, all the body, according to the webpage. That's good. Uh, they have put something they call vintage tuners, but I'd say they are modern tuners, actually. Um, and these kind of tuners I usually like, these are fine they are uh, durable i think but uh, they aren't very precise they are rather uh, i don't know they feel loose and they don't they aren't super accurate so they affect tuning i can tell you that and as a whole the guitar has real problems staying in tune uh, we got uh, medium jumbo frets, we got, of course, three single coils, uh, master volume and two tones, one for the middle pickup and one for the neck pickup. Five-way switch and uh, something that looks very much like the tremolo you find on the Squire Bullet Strat. So it's a standard uh, Stratocaster tremolo, basically. Uh, and uh, yeah, as I said, the, the entire guitar has problems staying in tune and it I think it comes down to all the parts actually. It's the tuners that are, uh, yeah, as I said, rather loose and I think they kind of, I don't know, they don't hold the strings tightly. They I think they move. And uh, the nut is cut a bit too uh, tight so the strings can't really move uh, as much as they should and this uh, good old Stratocaster bridge is well known for not staying in tune it's a construction that's not not perfect in any way and yeah electronics wise we have three stag pickups and uh, it has the Far Eastern tone control problem that I'm so used to by now. Um, that the tone, if you have it on 10, it's full on. And then if you put it down on 5, it's still full on. And then you get down to like 2 and then it just cuts all the high frequencies completely. Uh, I'll give you a demonstration actually. Um, Here's the middle pickup and I'll play just like the high strings and alter the tone control and you'll hear the difference. Mm, here you go. As you can hear, uh, not very useful. Uh, I don't know. I I don't really use the tone control to be honest that much, and I don't think many people that start out playing electric guitars that this is aiming for are really using them as much either. But when you when you have them on the guitar, they should be working, shouldn't they? Um. The, the guitar, I can tell you one thing about this guitar, it's handmade and usually that is uh, something that people think it's a good thing and it's a marketing thing. Uh, but in this case, uh, well, <laughs> it shows in bad ways. You can tell, it's not 
they probably like CNC machine cut this neck and then sanded the last parts by hand and it's not very even. The neck even has a like a square thing on the like the base side of it. It's not r completely round. There's like a bump. And my big surprise that actually feels rather good. Maybe that's a neck thing they should do um but it, I, I assume it's a flaw i don't think it's supposed to be that way uh it's a rather flat radius so i suppose it's nine and a half ten inches maybe um it's actually got a really nice free ply uh scratch plate but the, it's not screwed into the body very nice all the screws are pointing in all kinds of different directions and the body again handmade uh, it has all these unusual contours that you don't find on the strap it's contoured for instance here in the back of the cutaways um, yeah i don't know why <laughs> well well that's what you get <laughs> Uh, okay, let's hear it then. I'll start with a clean sound. <laughs> We had some overdrive.
and finally a high gain lead sound. <laughs> The Stag S250 has probably the least output in pickups I've ever heard when I've done my reviews of demos. Uh, they are very low output. And um, that suits different kinds of styles. I mean, if you want a really good clean sound, then low output pickups is really good for you. And they are also rather bright, as you can hear, uh, or even very, very bright. This has been a demo of the Stag S250. And I asked in the beginning, is this a guitar that's actually a guitar? Is this something that's good to start off with? Something to buy to your kids when they want to start playing guitar or for yourself? Um, yeah, it's a working guitar. It is. You can actually use it, but... There are lots of things that can be improved, but on the other hand, if it's your first guitar, then that's the only thing you need now. You only need to learn the guitar, and then you can, if you find an interest in it, just upgrade it or buy another guitar. Uh, talking about upgrades, I would not buy this guitar as a project to like change pickups in and add other things, because it's not really that well made. I would rather go with this, for instance, Squire range because um, they are more uh, ready to be upgraded. They have r rather good, uh, like the main parts of the neck and the body are really that good, so you can upgrade it. But it works. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you soon. Bye.